President Donald J. Trump. I'm on a carpet. I feel like a lad. My girl is a rocket. I call him my Jasmine. Oh my god, guys. And we thought it was a fucking meme. We we thought it was a joke, but it actually happened. It's pretty fucking insane that like a reality TV star can just run for president randomly and actually fucking win. Now that being said, I actually don't have a single problem with anything Trump stands for except for the whole pro uh, life thing. I I'm I'm pro choice, so that's really one of the only things on his platform that I disagree with. Like everything else was decently solid in my opinion and none of the crazy outlandish shit that he wants to do he, he can't actually do it due to checks and balances i feel like everybody's taken everything way out of proportion with their stupid political correct we need a female we need this we need this if you don't vote female you're sexist and everybody's just blowing everything out of proportion because it was a man versus a woman and because they're scared that he could actually bring about changes. Not every change that he's talking about bringing is like extremely appealing to me, but nothing is so appalling to the point where I'm gonna say he's not my president, or uh, he needs to be impeached, or he needs to be killed. Like, there's, <laughs> there's nothing that he's said that is completely outlandish to me. Like, everybody's talking about how he's a racist for uh, not wanting illegal immigrants in our country and wanting everybody to move here legally and i uh, i'm completely in agreement. my family immigrated here legally uh, a couple of generations ago they had to pay they had to go through everything to become actual citizens citizens of the united states and i feel like it's only fair that everybody has to follow the same procedures coming into the united states that being said like when he says stuff like all illegals are bringing this this and this uh those sort of like giant generalizations of all illegal immigrants um are pretty fucked up like definitely not every person who is an illegal immigrant is doing illegal things uh i mean besides being in the country they're not all like selling drugs and raping women that's not that's not something that happens just for every person that's coming to the country but a large majority of those people are coming here for illegal activities such as gang crime and you know like uh, drug transportation so not everything he's saying is based in complete fallacy along with the, like the accusation like his like pending rape thing I actually don't know anything about it so that's something I can't can't speak on my roommate said it's fake I don't really know I, I haven't looked into that because I didn't find out about it until like yesterday but you know what that if, if that goes through that goes through he's impeached something like it, it, it changes like if he actually gets convicted of something that changes the story but an accusation is not a conviction and that's something that people need to understand is it is innocent until proven guilty just like Hillary was accused accused of letting American soldiers die and all these emails and she was never indicted it she, she was never brought to court she never had any of that type of stuff happen because it was just accusation and it's the exact same argument for everything trump goes through just because you don't like him doesn't mean that he doesn't get the exact same process in law all of the people tweeting that they're scared and he's gonna take away their rights and he's gonna he's gonna do all this shit they're actually just buying into random social media rhetoric all the people going on social media saying that he's for sexist and if you a vote for him is a vote for sexism and that type of stuff is exactly why everybody just doesn't like him they see this type of this this uh, propaganda and they they instantly buy into it because it's being endorsed by a lot of celebrities and a lot of people on social media and they instantly without any type of fact checking go in and like yep yeah, he's sexist i saw it on this twitter post i saw it on this facebook post that he hates all black people when most of the stuff he's saying is actually to the contrary. I will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression. Now, I'm not saying the dude's perfect, and I'm not saying he's a good presidential candidate by any means, but I'm saying that our country is not doomed. <laughs> we are not going to explode on the day he moves into office. Like, it's... 
it's not as big a deal as people are saying and like I said at the beginning of the video checks and balances will definitely balance out what he wants to do just like it's supposed to and he's not going to be able to just build a wall and he's not going to be able to just take your rights away because he wants to this type of stuff has to pass through congress has to go it has to be voted in if something he wants gets voted in then that's the american way that's it, it was voted in democratically as much as you may not like it obviously a majority of people did one more thing that I'm noticing by millennials or uh, people of like my most likely your generation is I see a lot of people hating him everywhere I go, but he didn't get nearly as many votes as uh, I'm seeing all over Twitter and all the stuff about us being doomed. Not nearly as many of these people voted or voted f uh, like for Hillary as they're trying to say like. A lot more people are tweeting about it and saying everything's bad, but if you look at the polls, he obviously won a majority of the votes, so where were all these people at when he was actually winning the election? It just really goes to show you that we are really good at talking a big game on Twitter after we see that's what everybody else likes. Where Everybody's so good at feeding into the, the hype, the I hate Donald Trump hype, but when it comes down to it, Nobody was politically inclined enough to actually go stick to their word, say they hate him, vote for the opposing party, actually go and take stuff into their own hands. Everybody just everybody just stuck to Twitter and handled it like a, like a true child. And that's in my opinion. Overall, guys, I think Donald Trump is definitely not the best person to be the president of the United States, but he was definitely better than Hillary, in my opinion. And that's just because I am a racist homophobic bigot in the terms of most people i i guess is what i'm gonna get off of this video but we'll be okay we'll survive he's not gonna start lynching gays like everything will be okay and on the topic of racism my next video is going to be a little controversial as well and i'm gonna be talking about this whole dear white folks thing and this whole white people did this thing that I'm seeing that's also based from the election and I can't stand it so we're going to be talking about that in my next video. I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm going to start pumping out videos a lot more frequently now that I have all my stuff put together again and it, it should be pretty consistent from now on guys but thank you for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did leave a like comment subscribe don't forget to let me know if i can fix anything about my videos in the comments down below and until next time it's flipping them out thanks yeah